Okay, this one is about the Honeywell vent damper. Uh, I'll get a model on this thing, but that's what they look like. They're in the vent. Uh, generally, they're in the vent of uh, draft hood appliances. They were put in there to close off the damper when the furnace was off so that you didn't lose temperature through that draft hood and out through the uh, out of the house. Now, get you a model on this sucker. Okay, it's a D80D. This this damper moves like this uh, when the furnace is off, and then there's a motor that opens it up. Actually, the motor closes it. The uh, return is a spring. There's a return spring on it. And it's closed off, supposed to uh, keep the gases and warm air out of the house and so on from going out the vent. Uh, give you another little close-up here. I want you to see that arrow. Now that arrow is pointing to whether it's open or closed. Now this sounds like a great idea. And in the early 80s, everybody seemed to think so. But what happened, as far as I can, you know, from my own experience, was they would last, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 years, and then they'd fail. Well, they cost like 400 bucks. You didn't save 400 bucks in 10 years for that thing. It just, you know, not going to happen. Uh, Honeywell actually recommends if you find one remove it or jam it open so part of this is going to be about jamming this silly thing open uh, you can replace the uh, vent pipe because it's usually pretty close to the furnace and uh, uh, you can put a new vent pipe in or uh, where it was or you can just jam it open but it does have to be in some way jammed open if you're going to uh, abandon it because you don't ever want this thing to close while that furnace is on. Big troubles. Okay, point out a few things here. There's a relay here. There's a motor there. Uh, there's several wires. There's four wires coming out of this thing that go down to the furnace. And what I would recommend to replace these is not just unplug like uh, there's a plug up here that you can unplug. There's, uh, sometimes the other end's got a plug on it. This one doesn't. Uh, this one is just wired in. And to figure out how it was wired, that is the wiring diagram. It is extremely complicated. Uh, so what I would recommend you do is disconnect this wire at the unit disconnect all the wires to it jam the the uh, vent open and just bypass where all these wires went maybe a little more than some of you can do but uh, certainly that would be the way to do it uh, the way you jam this thing Okay, you're gonna be you won't see it so easily unless you can look up through the vent damper or the uh, look up through the draft hood and see it. But you can tell by the arrow whether it's open or not. Uh, what I would do, I'd put a zip screw through here and a zip screw through there. That makes absolute certain that there's no way this thing can close. I, I it's not gonna close this way anyway, but. I don't know, you just want to make sure that this thing is not ever going to close. Uh, and that's pretty much it for these dampers. They're, uh, they were one of Honeywell's better ideas back in the early 80s. Turned out to be a really bad idea. And uh, we no longer use them. 
we have no need for them anymore. We don't use draft hood appliances anymore. So uh, get rid of the damper or jam it open.